Hello everyone. Um, today your reading article is called I Want to Buy a Computer Game. And remember this is actually what would have been um, Monday's lesson, but we were off um, Friday and Monday, so that is how we are catching up today. So I'm going to begin reading this to you, and this says, Lewis was excited. The new computer game that he wanted was finally in stores. The game is here, he told his mom. Can we go buy it? How much does it cost? Lewis's mother asked. $35, he replied. That is a lot of money, Lewis. Do you have enough to buy it yourself? He shook his head. You know, Lewis, we have to spend our money carefully. We have to pay for our house and our food. We need to buy clothing and books and gas for our car. Our money goes to things that we need. But I really want this game, answered Lewis. What can I do? You get $8 a week for doing chores, his mom said. Try to save it. Before long, you will have enough to pay for the game. I do not think so, said Lewis. By then, all the games will be sold. Try it, his mother replied his mother. Weeks later, Lewis came home very happy. Guess what, Mama? I did what you said. I saved my chore money. Then I saw the game was on sale. Today, I bought it for $28. So remember, the game was originally $35, and he got it on sale for $28. And, his mother added, you did it with your own money. So, I don't know how many of you get money for doing chores, but I'm sure that you get money um, for things like your birthday, from the tooth fairy, and things like that. So, this is a great example of when you save your money and you don't spend it every time you get it, you can buy something that you really want. So, let's look at your question set from today. Number one, why was Lewis excited at the start of the story? Was it because he managed to save up $35? The new computer, the new computer game he wanted was in stores, or his mother bought him a computer game as a gift. So why was he excited again in the very beginning? So let's go back and read. And let's read this top line right here. And I am going to um Use a pen and underline where we read. Lewis was excited. So now let's see why he was excited. The new computer game he wanted was finally in stores. So that is the answer to our first question. Why was he excited? So... He was excited because the new computer game he wanted was finally in store. So that is the answer B. Um, what is the main problem that Lewis faces in the story? Was that was the problem that he wanted a new computer game, but the store was out of the game? He wanted a new computer game, but he didn't have enough money to buy it. Or he wants a new computer game, but his, mo his mother hates all computer games. So we know that the store did not run out because it said in the last part of the text that he bought the game and his mother did not say that she hated computer games. She just said that their money was for more important things. So his problem is that at the beginning of the story, he does not have enough money to buy the game, but then he continues to save his money and be responsible and he gets to buy the game. Read this statement that Lewis's mom said to Lewis. You know, Lewis, we have to spend our money carefully. We have to pay for our house and food. We need to buy clothing and books and gas for our car. Our money goes to things that we need. What conclusion can you draw from this evidence? So boys and girls, we haven't used the term um, conclusion and evidence a whole lot, but what this is saying is, um, what do you know after we've read this? So Lewis's mom says, we pay for our house and food. We need to buy clothing and books and gas for our car. Our money goes to things that we need. So what can you tell that Lewis's mom is saying after you've read that sentence? Is it... A, a house and food are things that Lewis's family needs. 
Lewis's mom doesn't want to buy clothing, books, or gas for the car. Oh, or having clothing, books, and gas is more important than having a house and food. So she, B, Lewis's mom doesn't want to buy clothing, books, and gas for the car. She does not say she doesn't want to buy those things. If we will look, I'm going to use this again. If we will look right here, it says we need to buy clo clothing and books and gas for our car. Our money goes to things that we need. So she's saying those are things that they need. Um, and then see having clothing, books, and gas is more important than having a house and food. Well, that is that is not true. That is not what she says because she said we have to pay for our house and food. So the correct answer is A. The house and food are things that Lewis's family needs. Um, she, you can draw the conclusion that she's saying that computer game is not something that they need. It is something that he wants, not needs. Four, how does Lewis's mom most likely feel about the computer game? Um, she feels excited because she wants to play the game too. She feels angry that Lewis wants to spend his money on a game or she feels like the game is not really something Lewis needs. So that's kind of exactly what we just um, talked about with the last question. She told Lewis that they need to spend their money on things that they need. And like I said, a computer game is probably not something that they need. It's more of a want. So that answer would be C. And then number five, what is the main idea of this story? A computer game that Lewis wants costs $35. Lewis wants a new computer game, so he saves up to buy it. Or Lewis's mom has to spend money on things like clothing, food, and the house. So every day this week, we have talked about main idea, and it's really what the story is mostly about. So I'm going to give you just a few minutes, and I want you to think about what that answer is, and I want you to go ahead and write it down if you haven't already, um, and then we'll talk about the correct answer. Okay, that answer is B. Lewis wants to buy a computer game, so he decides to save his money and buy it. Um, yes, the game was $35, and yes, his mom needs to spend money on things like food and clothing in the house. But again, those are just small details. So the main idea of this story is that Lewis decides to save money so he can buy a computer game. All right. Number six. Read these sentences from the text. Lewis was excited. The computer game he wanted was finally in stores. The game is here, he told his mom. Can we go buy it? Why might the author have used an exclamation point when Lewis tells his mother that the game is here? So what does an exclamation point mean, boys and girls? It means that you are showing excitement. So who was... Um, excited here? Was it that Lewis was very excited, his mom was very excited, or that the game was just really fun to play? Who would have been the person that was excited here? And that would have been Lewis. He was very excited about the game. All right, number seven, you get eight dollars a week for doing chores, his mom said. Try to save it. Before long, you will have enough to pay for the game. What does the word it in the second sentence refer to? So try to save it. So let's look right here. And they're talking about that it right there. What is she telling him to save? She's telling him to save the $8. So it is referring to the money or the $8. All right, number eight. Why doesn't Lewis's mother buy the computer game when Lewis first asks her for it? So you can either write this down in your journal or just on the bottom of this paper, or you may um, talk with a family member. But if you will go back to the passage, you can probably find your answer.
So Lewis's mom says this right here. Our money goes to things that we need. So why did she not want to buy him the game? Number nine, weeks later, Lewis came home very happy. Guess what, Mama? I did what you said. I saved my chore money. Then I saw the game was on sale. Today, I bought it for $28. And his mother added, you did it with your own money. How does Lewis's mother probably feel about Lewis saving his money? So just say one emotion um, that you think that his mother felt. Do you think she was excited? Do you think she was proud of Lewis? Do you think she was sad about it? What do you think? How do you think that she felt? And then number 10, this story suggests that it is a good idea to save your extra money to buy things you want. Why might this be a good idea? Use evidence from the story to support your answer. So I'm, I want you, as we're closing, to think about things. Why do you think that it's more important for you to save your money to buy things you want instead of just letting your parents buy everything for you? And I want you to go back in the story just like we do in class, boys and girls, and I want you to find something from the story that tells you why your parents might not just be able to buy you everything.